Hi, I'm Ralph Bass. I'm author of the book Back to the Future. What about that name, Back to the Future? Where did I come up with that? What does it mean? Well, as you know, most people understand the book of Revelation as being prophecy that is not fulfilled yet. It is in our future and will someday in the near or distant future be fulfilled. However, it is the contention of my book that the book of Revelation, written somewhere around uh, A.D. 64, was to see a soon fulfillment, and that that fulfillment occurred in a three and a half year period right prior to the destruction of Jerusalem, which was in A.D. 70. So in other words, unless we go back 2,000 years, we don't get to a point in which the book of Revelation was yet future, so we have to go back to the future. Now, <clears throat> we see this spoken of actually by Peter in a sermon in Acts uh, chapter 2, in which he says, but this is what was spoken of through the prophet Joel, and it shall be in the last days, God says, and then skipping down he goes on and says, and I will grant wonders in the sky above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun will be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and glorious day of, of the Lord shall come. Well, <clears throat> the last days, I've read that and thought about that over the years, and people that I have uh, studied and listened to said, well, that's, uh, the last days are a 2,000 year period. Well, the first days of the history of Israel was only a 1,500 year period, and we have a last days that are lasting longer than the, the beginning, the middle, and the end of the Jewish era. That didn't make sense to me. In time, I began to realize that when uh, Joel uh, prophesied and Peter, of course, uh, preached, Peter was preaching about an era that began in his day and was to soon conclude. John wrote about uh, A.D. 64 and uh, the book of uh, Revelation, and of course he says the things he's writing about are to take place soon. And indeed that uh, uh, short period of time uh, did uh, occur, and a three and a half year period culminating in the destruction of Jerusalem concluded the last days. Now of course it was not the last days of the world, it was the last days of the Jewish era. This was a transitionary period of about 40 years between the life, uh, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, uh, the offer of the gospel uh, through the apostles, and then finally the uh, judgment on Jerusalem and Israel for their uh, murder of the Lord of glory and the uh, flowering of the church of Jesus Christ to be uh, the new covenant people of God. This is the position of this book, Back to the Future, and it's a little bit different than what many of you are used to, but I would ask you to uh, entertain the possibility that there might be merit to this and uh, ask serious questions, and perhaps uh, you will find that uh, it opens up the book of Revelation in a way no other point of view does, and it makes very good sense. I look forward to uh, communicating with you and hearing your insights and opinions in the days ahead. Thank you. Bye.